Shadow education is an outcome of a very robust institution of education. Formal education has been a major revolutionary trend force in the creation of modern society and now post-industrial society, we might say. Along with widespread capitalism, widespread democracy, right, widespread formal schooling has changed so many things. Shadow education comes out of this in the sense that now education is increasingly the main way by which people achieve adult status, the main way by which they uh, uh, get a job, uh, careers, the main way by which they think about themselves, uh, the main way in which all kinds of preparation for the modern individual, the actor in society is happening. Shadow education comes out of that. As education becomes more and more important in many, many ways, the logic behind shadow education, essentially just more education, uh, just takes off. And so what we've seen worldwide is what started as rather local cultural phenomena in certain places has now exploded worldwide. Shadow education is happening lots of places, also too, the form of shadow education, its logic and how it's organized have become more similar across places. It's gone from the use, use by and large by elites who were preparing for very high stakes tests uh, for entry into universities uh, and very few spots in universities and then in elite parts of the society. That's the old classic model. That's still there but it's being joined by all kinds of other providers and users. So increasingly we see a mass providing of shadow education. We see it as a full service kind of industry, if you will, if you want to call it an industry. In some places it is and some it isn't. It's gotten, I think, cheaper. There are more uh, cheaper products out there. In other words, uh, a computer uh, uh, tutor might cost less than going for three hours every day to a cram school where you have an actual tuition is quite high. Uh, the providers then range from uh, very big uh, important companies in South Korea and Japan, some are operating in the US, to uh, small businesses, to individual um, entrepreneurs who are providing uh, tutoring service, hiring a number of tutors, uh, or other mechanisms. So the diversity of the product, if you will, has greatly expanded. At the same time, the diversity of the users has greatly expanded. And it's moved from the wealthy, uh, uh, semi-wealthy, if you will, or upper middle class, down through middle class, and now increasingly to people with uh, uh, less, less material means. One of the big questions is, is shadow edu education a problem? How to think about shadow education? Some people want to think about it as a potential corrupter of public education. It brings in an avenue for a lot of privatization, a lot of uh, family wealth differences, and we've done a lot of research on that. I've done research early on on that, and it is true that as with many things in education, families with more material means will buy more shadow education or what they consider to be better forms of shadow education. Other people want to think about it just purely as investment in human capital. That it shouldn't be a problem because if individuals want more human capital, more, more knowledge, they should be able to invest in it. I think both of those views, corruption and just a mere investment in human capital, are not sufficient enough to look at the overall issue of shadow education and whether it or not it's a problem. We have to look at it as an outgrowth of the cultural success of education in post-industrialized society. We have to see it as part of the th same things that are driving more and more education education as becoming the dominant way in which individuals are stratified, in which, in which we think about um, whether which individuals can have which jobs, which uh, status positions, and so forth. 
is all a part of that package. So if the whole education system is a problem, then yes, shadow education is a problem. But I think that we can't just think about it simply as, oh, it corrupts the public system, or it's just a byproduct of people trying to get more human capital. We have to think about it in a, in a more complex way.